Dude, we should trade seats for an episode. No. Please, man. I love my, I like my chair. On, we man. each got to choose our chair. We should trade seats for just one episode, Ryan. We're going to record hundreds of episodes in these chairs. Just let me try that chair out once. Are you regretting the chair that you're sitting no. in? I love this chair. I just want to know what it's going to feel like sitting on that side of the okay. room. Well, you, want, you, can do it. you want to trade seats? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so weird. It's a crazy podcast. Whoa, well, we're starting off crazy. Oh, let me get my drink. Woo. Okay. How's it feel? Ooh, warm chair. It's nice. It's warm. I do. I do. Uh, the reason I chose that is because the the back support makes you kind of like it's a bit stiffer instead of like you feel like you're going into this cushion. I guess. Now, I'm making an effort not to get too close to this microphone. Uh huh. Because I've I've kept in mind what this microphone has been through, <laughs> and we'll continue and to we'll be continue through. to go through. So I'm trying to uh, stay on this. How's it feel though, being in my seat? Feel it feels nice. It's uh, it's uh. It's a nice chair. It's a nice seat. You got a nice view. You have Tom, uh, our Tom Brady poster to look at. Yeah. Well, you have. You can actually see outside. So I'm jealous of you because I can't see outside. Well, you, you can. You can see oh. the cracks. Over Yo, let's there. open the window. Do it. You won't. Pussy. Yes I, yes, I will. Pussy boy, open that goddamn window. Oh, that looks beautiful. Why don't Why don't we open the window in here more and get a little more natural? Oh, it's so nice. A little bit of natural light. Oh, I can see it all now. Yes. I can see the neighbor's backyard. I can see our driveway. Holy crap. Lois. <laughs> it's episode... Oh, my God. It's episode... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Did you see my face right when you said that? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's it's episode 206 of the... I don't know what I'm doing. It's, it, it just became it. Canadian. It became like Australian, like a butchering of Ross's accent. Um, Holy crap, Lois! <laughs> Holy crap, Lois! It's it's episode two hundred and six of the Super Mega Cast. Peter, Peter, it's episode two hundred and six. Uh, I I can't Peter. do it any better. It's episode two hundred and six of the Super Mega Cast. Uh, Peter, two oh six. Nice, Peter. It's not two oh five. It's two oh six. Ugh, dude. Um. It, well, it, it's good to be here. Uh, another good week at the Super Megaplex. Yep. Working hard or hardly working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little of both. A little, little bit of both. You know. Um, we shot a bunch of videos this week. We did more next week. You know, we're finally getting back to that good old, just regular schedule. That so, grind, baby. To, to all those who were uh, getting worried that the end of Super Mega was nigh. Uh, because we weren't uploading as much, don't worry. We just sometimes do that, and this has probably been the biggest one of those. Just because of all all the excuses, of, all the excuses we've listed before, y'all y- y- y'all know. But um, yeah, we're 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 back. Uh, in I'm back in black. You are wearing black. Yeah, you're actually wearing a super mega shirt. Yep. Can you tell that I'm out of out of? I need to do my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I know when you need to do the laundry because that's when you show up wearing super mega merch. <laughs> And I'm like, you wouldn't normally wear that, would you? This is no. I mean, like, I'll wear this around in my house because it fits nice. I honestly, it does like, look good. I feel like this sweat sweatshirt fits really nice. It doesn't hold on to my my rolls and my fat and my titties and all that. So nice. Well, it looks good on you. But I did start working out recently, actually. After gaining a lot of fucking weight too, I gained it back again because I love eating. I just realized two thirds of your outfit designed by yours truly. Really? Yeah. Uh, if yeah, y'all can't see it, but I finally got uh, my hands on a, a a Matt Watson hat. It's my fav. It's my favorite hat, and I'm not gonna let you guys know what it is because you you guys won't will never be like, oh, his. I'm kidding. It's the slime one. You'll see it in the video. It, it's it's the turquoise one. There's lots of videos with it actually coming out soon. Yeah, it's like my new hat. Whoa, dude, wearing. your hair looks fucking good right now. Yeah. No, don't, don't. It looks really good right now. <laughs> like it's it it it's like. Oh my god, dude, your hair looks... F- I gotta take a picture of this, man. Wow, your, really? Your hair looks fucking killer right now. It's because the hat hair helps. I've always noticed that the hat hair will help calm the hair down, but I don't I don't think it would look good. God, what a sexy-ass man. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me see what my hat hair looks I like. I saved this so I can masturbate to this later. Look at this. Look at how like it's kind of swept back behind your ear a little bit. <laughs> Ryan, you get... God damn. That's why you're the hard, 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 dude. Because that's why you're the hardest one of Super Mega. Because look at me, man. I'm just this scrawny little fucker. No, with dude. a nasally voice. No, you got that fucking smirk. 
smirk. You got you're, you're tall. You know, you have got, you seen my side profile, Ryan? And ain't yeah. looking too good. Ain't doing me too know. many favors. I, I, know, I know a few fans, men, women, and all all the rest of the all the rest of them that that would say that their their nether regions get a bit quivery when they look at you and your profile. Okay, well, I'd say that the majority would say that about Ryan McGee, not Matt Watson. Well, just know that <laughs> I'm obviously I haven't taken it to heart. Otherwise, I. I, I would actually have done something about, you know, the state of my body, and I would actually try to look somewhat decent, I guess. Just got breaking news. <gasps> um, Epic Games is suing Apple. Wait, what? Yeah. Maker of hit video game Fortnite sues Apple after games removal from App Store in dispute over payment system. So earlier today, uh, this is probably old news by now, but... Apple took Fortnite off of the App Store because Fortnite changed the value of V-Bucks. So they made them a little bit cheaper. Is that what it was? Yeah, they made them cheaper. And I think the whole thing is like Apple with Apple Pay, usually whenever a company uses Apple Pay, I might be totally wrong on the numbers, but they do take, I want to say it was almost 30, but it's a huge, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice little chunk of change when, when Apple Pay is used. Apple t- pockets a good bit of it. And so I don't think they wanted to, um, uh, get rid of that wonderful deal of theirs, I guess. I don't know. And now Epic's going to sue Apple. Yeah, they are. The first trillion dollar corporation. Wait, what? Apple. Oh, I thought you were like, Epic is going to sue. Okay. A- Epic's not the trillion dollar corporation. Epic like, will hit it soon. Fuck? No I'm way. Sure. I'm pretty sure Apple's valued at a trillion. Well, I believe that. I was just, I was just talking about Epic. That's fucking ridiculous. Dude, Wait, did we mention on the last podcast, the bad news? What's the bad news? For me, at least. I don't, how I legitimately have nothing nothing to fucking look forward to this year. No, we haven't mentioned it because it happened in between the episodes. This is this is a hard one for you, man. It is. When you said this, my heart dropped for you. You know, I'm playing it up for the bit, but of course that comes with a bit of truth. You're not playing it up for the bit, dude. I saw when I saw when you first found out. Yeah, I was kinda I was very I was very upset. It was very, I was somber. Well, let's talk about it. Let's, so, let's get it out. So Halo Infinite was delayed till 2021 which is honestly it's it's a good thing i guess at the end of the day um because they it gives them more time to work on their game right you know there's that classic quote that's been shared to oblivion um a a delayed game will maybe be decent but a rushed game will make a lot of money or whoever whatever the quote is I think that was it word for word. <laughs> I'm not. No, it was it was actually like a uh, delayed game will be good, will be forever good, and a rush game will be forever bad, or some shit like that. Whatever the quote is, but it's like I understand that and I understand the sentiment behind it. But it's some, it is kind of disappointing that Xbox will not have a launch for its new console. That being Halo, Halo hasn't had uh, a launch with a console since the I think the original Halo Combat Evolved for the original Xbox. Man, that would have been so perfect. I know. Why don't they just do what Epic does and really crack the whip on their employees and force them to work overtime? <laughs> well, um, see, for some reason, some journalists started doing stories, and now game studios can't crunch. Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot, journalists. Which I was thinking about it with crunch and everything. Like, I, I actually, in my heart of hearts, when I think of a movie or a video game, God, I... What is going on? This stupid uh, carbonated stuff is making me making me burp a little bit more. But anyways, <laughs> when it's a movie or a video game, you have like hundreds, sometimes thousands of people meticulously working at this one thing. Could you imagine if like there were little personal like amazing statues of wonderful quality you could buy where it took like a whole bunch of different people like – hundreds of hundreds of hours days and days of constant work and and tweaking and all of a sudden it's like yeah just uh go watch this wonderfully crafted thing for uh i don't know uh let's say 15 bucks it's like okay yeah 100 percent. just like but then you think of someone selling like a handcrafted wood carving of your your dead dog jeremy or something Dude, uh seriously? that'll that'll cost like over a hundred I don't know, I, and I know one is a memory of a dog, blah blah blah. But I, I, I think that sometimes it's it's a bit 
underestimated like the amount of work that gets put Goes into, into games and movies. I'm not saying oh my like, God, yeah. they should be cheap. They should be uh, more expensive, but it's just like, there's so many people involved with those projects that put a lot on the line or put like uh, a lot of their time and effort into it. It's also crazy, you know, just the way, I mean, I know, I know it's just how it works, but like how much money a video game will make versus like, the people that actually did all the work, how much <laughs> yeah. money they make. But yeah. it's fucking, the amount of work that goes into big AAA, not even AAA titles, like indie games, when you have a team of like one, two, three, four people working on like a game, like that takes so much work. Like yeah. so much ridiculous amounts of work. I'm pretty sure Stardew Valley is made by one person. Yes. Jesus Christ. See that, I wish I had that kind of drive because I'm trying to get more into game development because I've always wanted to do it. But to think of like, Making something like Stardew Valley all by myself, that's the dream. Like, that seems like that'd be such a fun project to work on. But that would have to take up, like, years. all of your productivity. That's all That's all I would years. have to do all day. I mean, just, just look at that. even, um, I'm not, this isn't a diss, but Dream Daddy was um, a dating sim. Very just kind of, you know, 2D art, whatever. But you and I saw the production, regardless of, like... Just uh, what one would think of, you know, oh, they didn't have to 3D render all this shit and do blah, 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 all that. But like it was still like there was a there was a lot of people working on that really hard. And they were they spent a lot of their time. Yeah, it took forever. Yeah. And they uh, finally got it out. They I remember it's just like by the end of it, it's just like, whoo, we finally got this shit. They just wanted it out. They just wanted it released. I know. It's just like, oh, my God. It's just it's felt like such a pipe dream for the longest time that this thing is going to release. And then it finally did. It felt, it felt good to see him. To, to, to see them all so happy. Yeah, people people work, work hard. Well, which which is the direct kind of like, I guess, uh, argument where it's like, I want to believe that this time for the delay is going to go into, you know, polishing the game and making it perfect. But it, it it's still a bit wary that they were about to, they were actually about to release this like they were releasing like very big promotional stuff they were ready to release it for holiday i think it was the fan backlash that probably stunted them and were like maybe we should uh think so yeah because i mean they were doing things of uh not releasing ray tracing uh like on launch with it with in terms of the xbox uh, series x ray tracing being something that could take up a lot of i guess memory or hardware or just it it, it requires the next gen console uh to do and so when you don't have something in there, that that one specific thing being a th just out, one out of the many things that I guess they have to fix. But uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect end of a conversation. <laughs> just uh, well, I forgot everything else I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been. Uh, what was I saying? What was I in the middle of saying? I don't know, dude. I was thinking about big boobs. You were listening to me? I was thinking about big boobs. You were thinking about big boobs? Yeah. Okay. Well, imagine Craig with big boobs. Who's Craig? Because Craig's the meme of the brute. That, that. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Craig meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, been playing Yakuza 0, and I was just thinking about how much, how many hours of work had to go into that game. Because if the game is like 60 hours, then I'm like, a lot more than 60 hours of work. How far are you into it? <sighs> Probably like seven hours right now. Have you gone to the uh, the chat bars? That's not in this one. What? This one takes place in, in the 80s. But I do... Uh, oh, I think I played... You I played didn't six. finish six. You started playing six, but but what I did was uh, I went into a, a little place where there's CRT TVs and boxes of tissues. And you can unlock and watch different, like, erotic videos, but they're just... It's just real videos. That Well, it's the <laughs> same thing in Zero, where it's like, they never show anything, but it's kind of like... No, Zero, Zero's the one I'm playing. Huh? You're talking about six. Yeah, six sorry, is the one six, with the chat six. rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, um, I just remember you there were the videos of girls, I guess, you can collect or whatever on the on the chat thing. And they never show anything or or anything like that. Yeah. But it's just weird seeing kind of like it's like this is porn, but we have to PG thirteen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they don't show anything, but it'll be like a girl like blowing up a balloon. <laughs> yeah. Like in a in a mini skirt, and it's like I think this is hot. I I think so. And then it ends, and then uh, it shows the box of tissues, 
And the main character's like, oh. <laughs> and then I got a trophy that was called I Did It For The Trophy. Well, the thing is, you have to, like, spend, I think, uh, you, I, I think money. I can't remember what you have to spend it on in, in six to, to buy them. But I bet you it's this is a problem with some people where it's like, oh, this one, she almost showed a, a, a tit. I guess maybe the next one she will. No! I think that's the whole draw to people like Belle Delphine and stuff, too. Because it's like, they never show anything, but every guy is like, you know, n next time's going to be the time that she's going to do it. She's finally going to do it. Do, so you think, keep... do you think she'll ever she'll ever show anything? I mean, why would she? She's she's gotten this far, made this much money and fame without doing it. Why why would she need to? Exactly. It's you just know? like an extra step. It's not, I think, I feel like. Maybe when she's desperate for money, if she ever hits that point. Maybe. I just feel like in some way, not saying anything about people who do full nudity, but. I can see from her perspective how she could see it as devaluing her her business strategy. You know what I mean? Because I mean, well, I mean that's a very obvious take, but it's if once she does that, Pandora Pandora's box is open, and now everyone knows what her nipples look like, what her yep. vagina looks like, that's what the her thing. Looks exactly, like. and people keep coming back because it's the it's the mystery there. It's yep, like, they're like, oh, maybe maybe. Oh, I saw time. a little bit of areola. That, 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 oh, I know the color of her nipples. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, what, what is she gonna show next? Oh my God, she's fully naked, but the bubbles are covering her creases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, look, she she's been very successful. She makes a lot of stuff that could be deemed as cringe. But hey, she's 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 working that grind. She's she in more is. ways than one, brother. <laughs> 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 Sexual jokes. She definitely uh figured out how to how, how to utilize a business strategies. You know, she should teach a business course. She's one of the big ones that did that. Is it is it just because she started doing the what is it called? It's that style of of uh, e girl called like it, whatever. I don't know. I'm not kawaii. It's just the very Japanese esque, you know, anime. I guess like the white girls, very weeabooish, doing it's like the, the whole thing where it's like they cross their eyes and stick out their tongue and then throw up the piece. Oh, signs. I hate gal. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I knew you knew what the name was. I just can't remember it because I have a tiny little monkey brain. Um, I wish I had big brain. You wish you had big brain. I wish like I you? had big brain like you. I wish I had nice hair like you. Oh wow, that's the yes. big toes like you. Oh, I need to cut my cute toenails. Cute little toes. God, God, those are cute piggies. <laughs> Thanks, man. But I um, I saw a billboard for Riley Reed the other day, like a billboard. Really? Yeah. Damn. And I was like, whoa, she got her own billboard and everything, and it just got it made me just really horny. It made me really horny. I was driving by. Next thing you know. You're like, she'll never have sex with us. I had such a big <laughs> erection, dude. She could have sex with us, dude. Wh what if? What if she? What if she were to do a porno where she fucks two Let's Players? Do you think if we did an R-rated like super mega sketch music video that was more so like a comedy than anything else, but she just happened to be in it, and we had sex with her, that 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 she would do that? Yeah, really. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think so. She I liked No Not November. Did she? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does she follow you though? No, but I, I heard from someone that knows her that that she was singing it like all day oh, around damn. her house. So okay, that's an end. You know. Damn. Well, so we, we could maybe uh, have sex with her now. Oh damn. Okay. You know? Well, I mean, I I didn't I didn't sing no not November. Yeah, but you are, like I said, the heartthrob of super mega. No, I guess I guess, but but you know, she's used to all those. She's used to all those. Porn actor guys with the six packs and the and the muscles and yeah, but what she want maybe what, maybe what she wants is something real, Ryan. Maybe she's sick of the of the fake bullshit. Do you think so? Maybe maybe she wants something real, <sighs> dude. I I could just imagine it now. Her coming to pick me up from my house in a she's fully naked in a in a children's toy car. <laughs> Get in the passenger seat. Give her a little I kiss. I still can't on get it. over that. that all, video? all I'm thinking of is like, could you imagine me doing that and getting away with it? Like it, yeah. driving around, jerking myself off in a children's toy car in, in the a neighbor, of like, like a, a residential neighborhood. Because <laughs> if you did that and posted the video, I guarantee within two days there would be a knock on your door from the from the police. Yeah, and they'd be like, "You are now a registered sex offender." <laughs> she gives kind of like female Jake Paul energy to me. 
if Jake Paul were a porn star? Jake Paul's going to do it at some point. You think? He's going to have to show his penis at some point. I could point. see. I mean, Tana Mongu has, has started revealing her breastuses. Say what? Yeah. Her her big balloons. She she been showing her 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 bulging baboons. That's what her, I'm going to call breasts from now her on. Her voluptuous her bulging baboons. Her, her voluptuous sandbags. Yeah. Ooh. Has she been nipple too? I mean, those dust carriers can really make a grown man purr. You know what I'm saying? Dust carriers. <laughs> <laughs> those uh. <laughs> Bags of cheese. Those sag bags. Sag bags. <laughs> My favorite term for bra is over the shoulder boulder holder. That's <laughs> that still like the best, the best one. We got to get banana hammocks. Yeah. We should. Okay. So remember how we used to have Wiener Wednesday at the office? We did. Uh, which was just basically you had to walk what with your. To it? I don't know. We have you have to walk with your wiener out of your zipper all day around yeah. the office. Uh, thank God no women work here. Yeah. Um, because that'd be a lawsuit waiting to happen. It's just a it's a men only company. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, ladies. Uh, this super mega is for men only. Uh, but basically, we should have banana hammock Monday or just something where we have to just all day we work in banana hammocks. Do you know what a banana hammock is? Like a, essentially a thog, but it goes around your shoulders. Ooh, like, so like what, what Borat? Did. Yeah. I, I would love to get one of those. I'm going to the beach tomorrow, actually. So maybe I should. Uh, where? I don't know. Some place up north. A secluded little beach. Oh. So I'm thinking about maybe uh, seeing if I can get myself one today, wearing it tomorrow. <laughs> would you wear it at the beach? Yeah, of course I'd wear it at the Why beach. Why would you wear it at the beach? <laughs> I want to make a statement. It's funny. Oh, actually, I want to see right now. We should sell Super Mega Banana Hammocks. Let me, uh, let me effing, um, let me see how much they cost on Amazon. Because I'm sure there's some good ones. You get like an American flag one or like, are they actually called banana hammocks? I'm sure you could search it up and find them by that way. Uh, here's a here's a thing to hang bananas on. No, I can't find one on Amazon. Do you like bananas? It's just it's just things that hang. Found one. Found one. Okay. Uh, men's mankini. A mankini. It's called a mankini. Oh, dude, these are sick. Ooh, should I get green? It has. Bl- <laughs> It says, uh, men's mankini swimsuit thong Borat style V-sling stretch sexy underwear. Susp- I love that, like, even though this was a thing before Borat, now it, like, they they just put that in the name because people know sell. it. I can see this man's penis on on Amazon through well, the... Well, if you wore one, people would be able to see your penis. Well, I would not be posting pictures of myself wearing this. Are you sure? Positive. Mm, I could see it. I like the one of the pictures on Amazon is just a picture of Borat with his thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna order one right now. One size, hell yeah. Select size. Do y'all still have nudity day in your household or whatever it's called? <laughs> nudity day? I forget what it's called. We don't have nudity day. We had we had one night of seeing what we were testing to see if what it's like to be a nudist. And we uh, we closed all the all the blinds. We just oh, walked around naked. I, I feel like nudists are a little more nature based. They spend more time outside. Well, see, with quarantine, we can't be going outside. Gone in your backyard. Well, see, my next door neighbors have a balcony and they have middle children. school son. So, <laughs> well, uh, it's on your property. It's their fault for looking out the window. That is true. And spying on you in your residence. Exactly. Exactly. We. Uh, so, if they see something, that's too bad. Oops. Go home. Tell dad, who will probably beat the ever living shit out of you, but. Just go not answer the door naked, punches me straight in the face. Hey, what's up, Chad? <laughs> His name's not Chad. You just call him Chad. Yeah. 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 Well, would you ever, would you be okay if we had like nudity day at the office? I mean, it felt freeing. I still feel a little uncomfortable when I'm naked, just like naturally for some reason. But... I, I like having underwear on. Mm-hmm. I like having, even though it's a, it's. I don't like sleeping naked. There's just, uh, I actually slept naked recently because of the whole laundry laundry dilemma. Uh, but I ended up, you know, getting a few pair of underwears washed and, and all and all ready. Just not any clothes, unfortunately. But, but Matt, yeah. The important. The important thing is. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. The important thing is. I can't push one out. You you were trying. I was trying. Careful, don't, don't. I think it's a log and not not any air. You know. You want to go get it out? 
It's fine. I can I can I can keep it in there. So we could do some ad reads while you go get it out if you want. Okay. Okay. 2020 has been the year of things happening that are completely out of control. But there is one thing you can control, Ryan, and that's shaving your bush. Our sponsors at Manscaped, copyright, are here to remind you to do so. Yeah, you know, I, I'm I, I'm used to ripping out my pubes to trim them, and it hurts. I mean, it looks fine, it looks good, but it hurts, and it, it, it's 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 not a comfortable experience for me or whoever has to experience it down there because then there's little patches and everything. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, hey, now that Manscaped's around with their new Lawnmower 3.0 electric trimmer. That's designed to give you a confidence boost through body image. I, I can shave easily, comfortably, and epically. Do me a favor. Yeah? Look at my balls right now. I can't see them. Hold on. Can you see it now? Yeah, I can see one of your balls. I used the... Oh, wow. There's no hair on your balls. This is not a joke. I used the, the lawnmower 3.0 last week. Do you see that? Then didn't nick you at all. No, not a single nick. And do you see how smooth this brain is right here? I do. Yeah, so... Damn. So that, that's a first-hand right there uh, experience with it. There's ceramic blade and skin-safe technology designed to reduce nicks or tugs on your fellas down low. The lawnmower 3.0 is also waterproof and comes with an LED light so you can manscape in the shower, in the dark, or in a dark shower, whatever floats your boat. They also just released their Shears 2.0 nail kit, which is the perfect add-on to their lawnmower 3.0 trimmer. The Shears 2.0 is a luxury four-piece nail kit featuring tempered stainless steel tools, and it includes tip tweezers, rounded point scissors, fingernail clippers, and a medium grit nail file. Mm. The Shears 2.0 nail kit allows you to pluck your eyebrows and trim your nails in style. On their website, you'll also find the Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. This will help you tame that summer swamp ass with natural hydrators and antioxidants. You'll also find the Crop Reviver, a testy toner that's like having cologne that's designed for your balls. We won't judge you if we catch you sniffing yourself. So go to manscaped.com and check out some of these life-changing products. In fact, listeners of this show will get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code SUPERMEGA20. It's time to grab 2020 by the horns by shaving that front trunk, baby. Your, your penis, your cock. Ryan, do you shop online? Yeah. Well, we all shop online. Ooh. And we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout, just going, Ooh, I bet you I bet you wish you had a code to put in me and save money, but you don't. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Okay, so Matt and, and everybody out there, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. You know, when you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. And you might be asking, well, well, what does Honey save you money on? Honestly, that's just whatever it can find a coupon for. It's clothes, tech, gadget, even pizza. I was ordering food recently uh, on my desktop instead of my phone. Ooh. And uh, at my order, guess what? Boom, little promo code, 20% off my entire order. Ooh, that's delicious. Honey. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Hey guys, I'm going to bring it back before Ryan's done uh, in the bathroom. Let's have a little uh, chat with Matt, a little one-on-one -on -one time. Because I know lately, you know, daddy's been staying at work a little later, hasn't had time to come home and throw the ball around in the front yard with you. And I know that's tough. I know maybe it feels like dad doesn't love you as much anymore. But I figured right now be a nice little time just to catch up one-on-one. -on -one. So, Sport, what do you say you and me go outside and uh, throw the old pigskin around? Hey, does that sound good? Maybe if you don't want to throw the old pigskin, maybe we can... Uh, Go get the old baseball out, the old uh, the old mitt. Maybe uh, toss a couple balls back and forth. You know, play catch, have a good old time. And if uh, that doesn't fit your fancy, son, then maybe we could just stay inside and do a puzzle. How's that sound? Maybe a 500-piece puzzle. If that's too hard, we could do a 250 or 100-piece. Or if puzzle's not what you're into, 
maybe we can start a lemonade stand. You know? <laughs> Think about it. You and your old man. Twisting lemons. Getting the juice out. Putting some sugar and some water up in there. Selling it for 25 cents a pop. Son, we're going to be rich by the day's end. And not only will the money be in our pockets, but we will have the joy and satisfaction in our hearts that father and son came together and did something beautiful. All right, that's the end of that bit. I'm going to wait for Ryan to finish taking a shit. Oh, here comes Ryan. How was it? All done. All done? Yeah. I still wish we had a day in the office, but that's fine. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, the table's broken over there. That's great. Well, we don't have a bidet in the office. What, are we poor? I know. We should get one. Make Jackson set it up. <laughs> we, I mean... I mean, that's his job. Yeah. yeah. Force him to do all the shit we don't want to do. That's that's basically Jackson's do- job description. Yeah. Do the shit we don't want to do. Sometimes post on a social media account every now and then, and then, and then halfway build something, and then we finish it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the... Uh, the the race car setup we have right now. Yes. For American Truck Simulator. You know, I saw him working on it yesterday. Yeah. He was doing a real good job. Jackson's at the Grand Canyon right and now. And he actually speak. he actually uh, attached the wheel to a to a table instead of the um the, you know the thing that we bought. Yeah. The the metal frame that the wheel goes on. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Well, the metal frame's not really working out that well anyway. So. <laughs> no, I mean, the whole setup isn't working out that well. Those three episodes are some of the most hectic episodes of Truck Simulator. And this sounds like, oh, it's an ah, oh, those. Now, if you haven't watched Truck Simulator, you're going to want to watch oh, these. Oh, you guys are going to want to see these. Ones. It actually does, though, because we cannot figure out how to, like, work this goddamn steering wheel <laughs> pedal setup that we bought. And uh, it keeps falling apart while we're playing. And we also learned that you can flip your truck. So, yep. very fun episodes. And dude, I was amped up on some G Fuel. We got Fall Guys coming out soon. Several mail videos too. What else we got? Okay. Oh, we got it. We got a uh, got that one good video coming out. We got yeah. that monkey tier list video. We do. We do. That's coming out. I don't know when. Hopefully, probably next week. Whenever that bastard Justin finishes it. I think he's he. Uh, I called him. Uh, like a few hours ago, he's he's working on it today. He was Woo! working on it yesterday too, so it might be done today. Good, Justin. Just it's one of those videos where you just have to cut a lot. Yeah, it's got to got to do a lot of cutting here and there. But I'm excited to see it. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, that's one of those videos where I'm like, I'm gonna watch this one. I definitely think a male video is coming out like this week. Should have already come out by the time this this airs. I hope so. Depends because it's ready. I mean, it's up on the right. We just uh, need the. Is that the final version? I think so. Oh, I rewatched it in the, the beginning and everything. It looks fine to me. Talk your text to me. Yeah, sending me naked photos of himself again. So no, I said didn't. that makes me very uncomfortable. No Please way. Stop. Yeah, I have seen a nice naked photo of Tucker. Oh, uh, what, what are you? What are you doing when you get home after this, Matt? Like, what? What do you typically do? I'm. I'm sure it's not like oh, every day's every day's a mystery. I'm it sure. is actually most days <laughs> it's a mystery. Um, when I get home. Uh, first thing I do is I, I drink my testosterone powder, mm-hmm. make a little shake with that stuff. Um, I'll invite my girlfriend over, beat her, send her home, um, which is just a side effect of the testosterone stuff I take. Mm-hmm. And she understands. She's very sweet about it. Yeah. Um, do some push-ups, take a nap, jerk off a couple times, and then drink about a fifth of vodka and go to bed. I honestly see that, except for the beating part being true. You think I drink testosterone? I don't know what you do. You you do you do a lot of you, you take you've taken you've taken supplements before. But testosterone is not like a supplement, dude. Whatever. Why do you think I need to be taking testosterone? I don't know. It's your fault that you were lying the whole time when I asked you a question of what you do when you get home. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do today. You're the one that lied. Usually, when I get home, I I I just chill. Get on my computer, hang out with people in the living room, make some food, drink some water, you know, maybe go call my mom or my dad in the backyard, maybe go to the grocery store, do some grocery shopping. That's what I did yesterday. Got home and I went down to uh, the grocery store. Yeah. Fun stuff. Really fun stuff. And then I played Yakuza with Christian. Today, Today's plan is when I get home. We're going to go to a sake store, get some sake, 
then come back and drink it while playing Yakuza and then watch the Takashi Miike Yakuza movie Ooh. that he made based on the game. So, I forgot. Have you seen Ichi the Killer? Not yet. But I saw a movie directed by that guy. That I actually, Mike. I didn't, I didn't like that much. It was a, he's made like over a hundred movies. I think it was called Eight the Eight Assassins or Thirteen Assassins. Sorry, he's made so many movies. So it was all right. I don't know. It just felt for some reason. I don't know. I, I just it felt very bland actiony kind of. He made a, an Ace Attorney movie too. I'd love to see that. So he, he's made a lot of video game movies. So he made the one about Yakuza, and he made one about Ace Attorney. I'd love to see Ichi the Killer, though. You've been... You, it's very you, good. You've said it's... It's very good. It's, it's amazing. And like I told you about the semen in the beginning. It's actually his semen. You, so I have seen this movie before. I've only seen the opening shots, but I remember being up in my room and Daniel telling me that fact about it. And like... He's like, did you know this is some dude's cum? I think he looked up, looked it up on YouTube or some it's, shit. Yeah, it's real cum. Like the title sequence has cum dripping on it, and like under like a black light, and it's it's his cum. Good for him, man. I know we got to start figuring out ways to put our cum in more super mega content. Do you think that? We just- <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Does cum need to be censored? Like if 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 we're like, hey guys, this is a cup of our cum, and we just showed the cup of cum, would the cum need to be censored? Yeah, probably, because but, I okay, I, I feel like it's it's the implications of what it like necessarily the image itself. If you didn't know it was cum, you know it's not necessarily offensive. But once a you cup know, of piss is fine. Mm, that's I I don't know. See that or a cup of poop is probably fine. A cup I'm assuming. Of poop. The implications behind what it is is what makes it. A cup of breast milk, I'm assuming, would be fine as well. Yeah, but that's beautiful, Ryan. That's beautiful. That comes from a woman's body. It's not the same as us saying it's a cup of vaginal secretion, you know? Yeah, see, that'd have to be censored. Would it? Probably. I don't know. I mean, most people would probably want that to be censored. I Yeah, I understand that. But, like, what's the purpose of censoring cum? So... Because if people zoom in on the cum close enough, they can actually steal my genetic. <laughs> yeah, they can they can take screenshots of it and then use my DNA. When you censor, I like I understand the censoring of a cock, you know, a dick, a penis. Well, a cum, Johnson, cum, cum is so intimate, dude, because cum comes from an orgasm. True, you know, so it's like it, it's it's very the implications behind cum are like you know, yeah, it's not like it just leaks out or like. Could you imagine if instead like. Every now and then, just like how women have their periods, if guys just like came in their pants for like a solid three to four days, it was just like, sorry, we got to empty out these unused loads. That's <laughs> what you, happens when you <laughs> don't check off for a while. You get those nocturnal emissions. <laughs> yeah. That is, I mean, yeah, it does work in that way. The, what do they call I forget the, the name for them. What are they? Wet, wet dreams. dreams. Yeah. 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 You, forget, you forget the word wet dreams. I did. Cause I barely have them. I've had wet dreams like three times in my life I and probably, they're never sexual. It's probably like. Once or twice, honestly. They're never sexual. That's the weird thing. Most wet dreams aren't sexual. It's probably because I'm running on empty. Come reviews. <laughs> I had a dr- my first wet dream was I was, uh, hey, mom, what's up? Uh, for, I know you're listening to this. Just oh, like, I thought you were starting. I was like, what? You start? I thought you started the dream. Was like, so my first wet dream started like this. I was like, hey, mom, what's up? <laughs> I was like, oh, no. no. Uh, I was, I was. At a desk doing paperwork, and then I just came, and that was my first wet dream. But it wouldn't be my last. <laughs> I I remember <laughs> it's gonna sound weird. Well, it is weird. It's a dream. I think my first, like one of my first sexual dreams, was back when I was a kid, and Hannah Montana was was one of the big Disney shows. Nice. And I remember there there just being a, a dream where Hannah Montana herself. Was driving her like I, I was outside of my house and randomly all of a sudden she pulls up in one of those the you know one of those cars that uh, Riley Reed masturbated in the little ones the little children cars yeah she drove up in one of those and was like hey I'll let you see me naked I'm like what yeah just follow me and she started like driving away and the whole dream was me like trying to catch up but every time she turned a corner she would be like a mile ahead damn be like no. Damn, that's that. I want to see what a naked person looks like. That's crazy, dude. I know. The the mind of a of how what, when was this? This was back before we moved 
I want to say I was in fourth or fifth grade or some shit like that. I I have this one recurring dream that is kind of ridiculous at this point how frequently I have it where I'm like, it has to mean something. Like, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to go to a dream analyst because I feel like that's just dumb. Yeah. But I keep having this one dream probably twice a week for the last six months. And that's never happened to me before. Uh, and it's not like a weird dream. It's just I'm back in high school and it's the last day of high school and it's like the last period and I'm like, I'm done with school. Like, I'm done with school. And then I go, I say bye to my friends and then I walk to the bus and then I miss the bus. And I have that dream like twice a week. I have legitimately, legitimately missed the bus on multiple occasions. And Shit it sucks. sucks. Every yeah. time. It, There'd be times where I'd be like walking down being like, every time the bus was like five minutes early and there's nothing I guess the bus can do about it, I guess. I don't know. Well, my thing was, you know, where I went to <clears throat> s- school was was pretty far drive from where I lived. So if I missed the bus, I'd have to be like, ah, oh, shit, I got to call my dad. Oh, He's going to have to drive I mean, all the way out here. I think that's for any kid, really. Not too many kids would walk home, at least in my schools. I mean, you had them, but it was always like a neighborhood that was just across the street. But most neighborhoods were like, Miles away from the school. I rode the bus all the way throughout high school. I never had a car in high school because mm-hmm. I all the other kids I knew, their parents were like, "Here, here's a car." Me, my, my junior year, I got a I got a Volkswagen Jetta. Damn, see, two thousand three, baby. My parents made me a deal. They said, "If you want to save up for a car, we'll help you match it," uh, which I I should have done, but I never did. So I literally, I think I was one of the last people. In, I think I was like one of the only two people in my entire senior class that still rode the bus. Like everybody drove you, a road with were friends. You a loser, you were with all the freshmen and sophomores. Dude, I was the king of the. I was the king of the back of the bus. All those mouth breathing fuckers. Well, I see. I'd go to the back of the bus, bro. That was my domain. No one would sit with me. No, right? Not because I was uncool. Because you were seriously not because I was uncool, but because I just you know. I, I was the big boy on the bus. You radiated confidence with that classic. You you sat up there with your Matt Watson smirk. And yep. you were like The classic smirk. And I was the big boy on the bus. People didn't want to fuck with the big boy on the bus. probably one of the tallest kids in the school, honestly. Well, actually, what's funny is my bus driver was this old white dude. Forgot it. I, I never knew his name. But he had like four outfits. One of them he was. He drove you every day and you can't even remember his name. Oh, I even remember my bus driver's name. I remember my other bus Her driver's name. was name. legitimately Miss Daisy. <laughs> no way. Yeah. She drove all of us around. Miss and, Daisy. And Miss Davy was Miss Daisy was driving? Yeah. She yeah. So you're being driven by Miss Daisy. Yeah. Nice. She's super she was super sweet. I had a bus driver that sold candy. That was just like a cardboard box. I think they could I don't think they should be doing that. I don't think that I don't yeah, think I don't they're think they're allowed so to either. be selling selling edibles to kids. Well they had a, a cardboard she had a cardboard box of uh just a lot of candy. And I remember I could give it's her a like hustle. two bucks and get like a Snickers bar. It's a, it's a decent hustle, I but guess. I, I remember like, but you weren't allowed to eat it on the bus. And Fuck also, then. you weren't allowed to have headphones on. Don't know what the fuck. That's the po- same thing. Like we weren't like, allowed why? to like, listen to music sometimes. Why? I don't understand that. What's the fucking point? Don't you want no the kids to shut up? to be used on the bus. We, like I actually, the bus driver. That was only over. one like substitute bus driver that had that rule for some stupid fucking reason. Well, the bus driver, uh, the old white guy, I had senior year and junior year. He uh, he didn't really like me and my friend that much because someone had like smeared around like a PB and J sandwich once near the back and of the bus. It on you? Yeah, it wasn't me, but he thought it was me. Um, in fact, I was napping when it happened, but basically he yelled at me for it, and I was like, "That wasn't me." He's like, mm-hmm. and then. One day, uh, my friend was on the bus. Did you cut up a lot? Is that why he thought it was you? Yeah, I cut up a lot. I was always cutting up in class. Yeah. And on the bus. He couldn't stop me. I, like Pants I said. And, like, I, I know. You have a history of it. I was the big boy on the bus. <laughs> you had to always show your dominance in some fashion. Whether that means pantsing your sister at a very... Oh, I didn't pants her. I lifted her, her skirt up. It's essentially the same thing. It's probably worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, my friend stuck his head out the window while we were going over a bridge and the bus driver just like the second we get off the bridge just pulls over and I was like oh and he just gets up and starts walking to the back of the bus and everyone's like silent and he comes back he's like I'll tell you what 
you stick your dang head out the window, you're going to get depacketated. <laughs> and then I just yelled and then went. And he always would pull over to yell at this one Did kid. Did he accidentally spit on you? Excuse yeah, me. I he purposely spit on, on me. A little more uh, gently. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, whoa, the sound, the sound uh, proofing is kind of getting a little crooked. If that falls, I'm going to be furious. Well, if it falls, it would hurt me. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep it there. But, God, the bus was... Did I ever tell you about the one bus driver I had who, like, if she smelled perfume, she was, like, in a chemical fire, and if she smelled perfume or deodorant, she'd, like, violently start hacking her lungs up and, like, pull over and, like, run off the bus and throw up everywhere? Would you purposely, like, walk by and go... No, but... It, it, she'd start coughing. Her, her name was Sheila, and she always wore these big oversized T-shirts that would it would be like a cross, but made out of drumsticks, and it'd be like the rock band font, and say "Stick with Jesus," like shirts like that. And basically, she'd be driving, and then she'd smell like cologne, like <laughs> turn it off. And uh, I don't. She would say turn it off for some reason. Turn it up. And then. One time she smelled something, like pulled the bus over and just ran outside and like threw up outside the bus. And she came back in and was like, I was in a chemical fire and my lungs are scarred and I can't smell that stuff. <laughs> and then one time she started doing it and someone was like, it's a banana. It's a banana. And she was like screaming to like, like close it and like get rid of it. And they were like, it's a banana, Sheila. I mean, she had to run off the bus again. Wild, wild, wild stuff. So Sheila doesn't like perfume or bananas. I was seems. not the big boy of the bus. Uh, on that bus though that was one of those buses that so many kids rode that it was always three people per seat which was the worst see I, I, I had a lot of misadventures on the bus I had a kid that would hide condoms in my in my backpack to try to get me in trouble with my parents <laughs> damn because then they'd find a condom in my backpack damn dude that's like that's mean <laughs> yeah his name was Ryan too damn I did get bullied on the bus by one kid he was one of those guys that like it was in I guess it was I want to say seventh grade seventh i think it was seventh or eight i want to say i think it's seventh and he's one of those kids that's like yeah i've had sex so much yeah i'm gonna uh, i got my i got my dingle sucked you know how kids are yeah dude he was just bragging a lot and i me being a, a good little christian boy i was like i've never kissed a girl i've never i've never seen any of that He's like, huh, really? Well, let me tell you about it. Well, how about this? And he hands me a condom. And I'm like, no, no, I don't think I'll need it. Like, it, it felt like to me that was like a big moment. Like, it was like declining a cigarette. Like, it really felt like... Like, God was proud of you. Well, it felt like in that moment, declining the condom meant like I was declining sex. Like, I had any means to do that at the time. I'm good. I'm good. I know if I had it, I'd use it tonight. Because, I mean, come on, I'm me. But, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm going to give all y'all, I look around the bus and I and I look at all the men. I'm going to give, all the boys, sorry. I'm going to give all y'all a head start. I'm going to give myself, let's say, until I'm 19 to fornicate with a woman. Y'all have until then. After that, it's done for y'all. You start having sex with every woman in the state. Yeah, it's just like, it's kind of like a ripple effect. Once I pleased one woman, she would tell another woman. And then and she wouldn't be able to be satisfied by her husband or boyfriend or brother or whoever. Well, it was South Carolina. Yeah. She go, Ryan, please. I heard from this girl that you satisfied her this good, and she was screaming and squirting out of her pussy. <laughs> and she you... squirted out of her nose, Ryan. As we all settle into this new normal version of summer, Bespoke Post is here with customized box of awesome collections for you guys, guaranteed to upgrade your life. Bespoke Post was sweet enough to send us a little, uh, a little box of awesome for me and Ryan to enjoy. And let me tell you something. It was awesome. Yeah. It was very awesome, man. We got one with some outdoor gear, and we went out in the backyard, and we started playing around with it, and we didn't even cut ourselves. Not once. Bespoke Post only sends guys the best stuff every month, no matter what you're into. Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Each box costs 45 bucks, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter code SUPERMEGA at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code SUPERMEGA for 20% off your first box. 
Thanks to G Fuel for sponsoring the Super Mega Cast. You can get 30% off with code SUPERMEGA at checkout. G Fuel is an energy drink geared towards gamers. It's designed to help support performance, energy, and extreme focus, and is the official energy drink of eSports. Most flavors are keto-friendly, with 5 grams of carbs and no sugar. Right now, you can get 30% off of G Fuel with code SUPERMEGA at checkout. That's 30% off. Of G Fuel <laughs> using code what? Super Mega. Code and Super check Mega. Out. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen to this. G Fuel sent us a whole box of this stuff. You've been drinking it. I've been drinking it. It, it gets a, our let's plays are, are are better for it. Yesterday, actually, instead of coffee, I said at G Fuel because it's got some. It's got a good amount of. Yeah, you were you were commentating on it. Too. I was in a in a future truck sim ep- episode. I was drinking Nemesis tea and this. I'm gonna try bubble gum later today. Ooh, bubble gum has a flavor. Bubble gums has their own shrimp. Flavor. <laughs> I wish, but they don't. It's 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 bubble gum. By the way, don't forget you can get thirty percent off with code Super Mega at checkout. Wait, are you trying to tell people that they shouldn't forget that they can get thirty percent off of their G Fuel order? Using code Super Mega at checkout. Yes, sir. Links in the description, too. Yes, it is. Damn, okay. Well, go support it, babies. Bye. During these economically turbulent times, everyone is looking for a way to feel more financially secure. So, if you're still needlessly throwing money every month at high interest credit card debt, it's time you check out Upstart, the revolutionary online lending platform that knows you're more than just a credit score. Now is the time to find out how low your Upstart rate can be to help pay off high interest credit card debt. Unlike other lenders, Upstart can reward you based on your education and job history in the form of a smarter rate. You don't need a degree or diploma to apply though. Upstart lets you skip going to the bank because it's completely online. They offer loans from $1,000 to $50,000. Your loan amount will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Not all applicants will qualify for the full amount. So you can consolidate your debt into one easy fixed rate payment. Upstart makes it fast and simple to check your rate. Since it's just a soft pull, it won't affect your credit score. The hard pull happens if you accept your rate and proceed with the application. Ryan's stepdad, Jim, was in extreme financial debt after buying several new pieces of jewelry for his other wife. However, with Upstart, he got a quick, smart loan, was able to help consolidate everything into one smart rate, and pay it off in no time. The best part? If the loan's approved, most people get their funds the very next business day. Over 400,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit cards or meet their financial goals. Free yourself from the burden of high interest credit card debt and get back to using your money your way with Upstart. See why Upstart is a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot and hurry to upstart.com slash supermega to find out how low your Upstart rate can be. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Were you 19? Is that what happened? When I, when I first had sex? Yeah, I was Same, 19. Same, bro. I was, it was a... Uh, High five. I want to get too much information. It was... <laughs> Just with a coworker, just a coworker who, uh, yeah, that's it. I was it, the first time I, when I lost my virginity, it really was. Uh, afterwards, I was like, huh. So that was sex. That's how I felt. I thought it was gonna be like this big, like way cooler thing, and then I was like, oh, it was interesting. It was interesting. That's a good way to put it. I was like, so but, that's so that's sex. But I don't know. For some reason, I think I had. It was more of an impact when I like. First made out with a girl. I was Yo, like, "Whoa, this my is man. this is epic." When I first had sex, I mean, it was epic, but I th- I feel like sex becomes better the m- like the more experience you get. Definitely, you know what I mean. Just I like don't I don't anything. think anyone really has a good first time. <laughs> Unless you're, fr- I mean, you know, have you seen those porn videos where it's like a porn star will fuck like a fan? Dude, those are my favorite. <laughs> the f- the f- I, there's one. There's one that was on uh, years ago. It was one of the top posts on r slash cringe. And real quick, look at this weird knot I just tied with my drawstring Damn on my son, shorts. That's, that's pretty n- cool, right? That's, that's epic. It's like a chain. It's but really nice. uh, she fucks, like, this This guy wins a contest to I think go on I'm, a date I, I think and fuck I'm, his <laughs> favorite porn star. Doesn't he come in, like, two seconds? Yeah, he's a virgin. She basically, like, touches his penis, like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and he just, like, blows all over himself while she's, like, sitting there, like, to the side. God, what a good video. I highly recommend everybody go watch that if you're over the age of 18. It's very funny. Yeah. And uh, they go out for drinks and, like, they go to a restaurant and, God, I feel bad for the dude. Uh, But also, what a fucking awesome day, right? Well, the first thing he does, so he's, like, never seen a girl naked or anything. The first thing he does when she gets naked is he just immediately goes for, like, starts sucking her toes and, like, licking her foot. Like... He's like, uh, Dude, if I was a virgin, I'd go, I'd go, I'd go straight for the for the big salamis on her I'd chest. I'd go for the big salamis and the and the and the the cooter. Exactly, that's the cooter. a good word. That's a good word. That's not used enough. That's an like under cooter or snatch, word. snatch, slit, gash, cooter. It's a lot of good words. Charcuterie board, minge, minge is 
It's very like British Irish word. Munch but good. on some of that minge. Munch you know? on some minge, bro. Hey, who's got some? Who's got some minge? I can oh, munch I got on, some minge, mate. Bro. Hey, mate. Who's got some minge? I can munch on, mate. Guys, put your favorite munchy minge. Uh, uh, Sounds like a let's player. Hey guys, it's Munchy Minge. <laughs> minge plier. Next, uh, guys. And I'll munch you in the next video. <laughs> Instead of a bias. <laughs> what, guy, if people from different regions and countries, let us know what your favorite local term for for pussy is in the comments below. Yeah. Because I'm sure you guys got some some crazy ones wherever you're from. And if you can, uh. Type it out in Braille. What do they What do they call it in South Africa? Type it out in Braille, Ryan. You can't type in Braille. I know, I'm which I don't saying, know I'm why saying, that's a thing. Because but like, why would why would so? Like, I, I don't think that anyone who actually legitimately uses Braille is listening to the super, or unless they are. I'd be. I got. Well, you don't need visuals. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure true. there are there are blind people that listen to. And our they podcast. have keyboards where they. Uh, I, I can't remember where I saw it. Whether it was on Reddit or Twitter or something, but it's it was it was showing a Braille keyboard and how differently kind of like an alphabet works for them or talking or typing works for them because it's you know how we have so many keys they just have like i don't want to lie it's like five it's, it looks like five keys honestly that they go around typing what how do blind people find the braille that's always been a big question for me <clears throat> I, i'm i'm assuming hopefully they have someone with them maybe i don't know but wouldn't that person just be able to tell them what that room is <laughs> that is true you know like, how do you just happen upon Braille? Because think about how small Braille usually is on a door. Like, are they just hoping a blind person stumbling around? Like, oh, the bathroom. There it is. I guess. I mean, they have a cane so they can get around. If someone's like, it's down the hall and to the left, they're going to take their cane and go down the hall until they find a left. And then they're going to be like, okay, okay, here's an opening. That's the mail restroom. All right. I am very, uh, actually, I'm very curious <clears throat> if we have any blind listeners and, uh, if when they comment, they use a braille keyboard. Yeah, I'd be interested too. Although we would have a lot, we'd we would have a lot of liars. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you rather be blind or deaf? Deaf. I think so too. One hundred percent. I think so. Yeah. I would not want to live in darkness, dude. Yeah. It's. I think it's mainly because <laughs> the blind listeners out there, are like, thanks. thanks. <laughs> no, no. But well, it's. Di I feel like it's different because I've lived twenty six years of my life with sight. Some people are bored blind and they can't they can't imagine what sight you know would be. I feel like there's a lot more taken away from someone who's lived with it for decades. Yeah. Also, blind people that are uh, listening, what type of like? <clears throat> I want to know what is it? Is, I don't think it's not just black, right? It's got it like, is it like white? Is it black? Is it? Static? I'm always interested in like what did what are what do they because blind people dream, but since they can't visualize. What things look like. I imagine they can, though, after, like, I imagine feeling something, you're able to visualize what it looks like. And obviously but it will never be exact. you can't have a picture perfect of, like, right. the gloss, the material, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I'm being a dick right now. Well, I want to know. I <laughs> you, wanna... can't, you know, you can see kind of, but you can't really see, see. You'll never really see the details that we can see. <laughs> no, that's Sorry. Not really... But it, I, I, I just, uh, I, I'm interested more in, like, how the visualization works when it comes to dreams. And I know there's a YouTube video and stuff on Reddit that I'll probably look up after this, but I, well, actually what I wonder is, so, you know, when I, when I shut my eyes and I visualize a color in my head, I can see that color, right? Technically I'm not seeing that color, but like, well, your I, eyes are looking they're o Your eyes are always open. They're looking at the back of your eyes. Right. But in my imagination, if I imagine blue, like I could see it in my head. Mm -hmm. If you're blind, like, can you, like, I guess you could still see colors in your head, right? You don't, but you don't know what color is which. You wouldn't know what yeah. blue is, right? Because I wonder if, like, if you're blind, if you still, you know, because when I shut my eyes, it just kind of looks like static and colors. But that's what I'm saying. For them, like, just imagine not having eyeballs. Like, your eyeballs can't, your eyes aren't reacting to anything. Like your your eyes right now, you see static and all that because I think there's, yeah, you're looking at your eyelids and you're pressing down on them. Oh, dude, if you it is very fun if you press on your eyelids and you kind of just go through like another dimension for a second. <laughs> what I used to do as a kid, I used to like do this and then. Oh, dude, be, if like, you rub your, it feels so good. Dark. Like my dad you, rubs his eyes like this sometimes, and I guess I'm not at that age yet. But I, I remember whenever he does this, I'd hear like a. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a squeaky moistness. Like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, oh, I wish I could get that noise in there. God, I wish I could. Aren't moist I wish enough. I could rub my eyes and have them make little squishies. <laughs> hey, let me see if I can do it up close to the mic. 
Nope, no squishy. No. Damn. We've really run out of ideas for things on this podcast, 206 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> but that was, a, j- j- just kidding, man. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go maybe go ride a bus? Yeah. Oh, we can't ride a bus. COVID, fuck. Well, we could go play army men. I got a couple, I got some army men in my car. Okay. We can go down to the park down the street and play army men. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have to get there before the, like, you know, that group comes. Because usually they come with all their kids and shit. Yeah. And, and they they bring their army men, too, and yeah. we don't stand a chance. Would you, uh, we should do a, a ser- an army men series on the channel where we just go to parks and play with army men. Like, set up little fights. There's a game I, I used to love playing just because it's the idea of being tiny was uh, oh, yeah. called Sarge's War for the GameCube. I have uh, some of the Game Boy Advance ones on my uh, arcade machine. Sarge's War or whatever? Mm-hmm. The, the Army Men game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to play on your little cabinet. You got to come over and play on my cabinet, bro. I, I will. I may, maybe I'll do it right now. I won't, though. Just going to drive straight over to my house. I won't. Surprise Christian. Oh, the, yeah, the, he would be surprised. Yeah. He would be surprised, wouldn't he? Yeah. Surprised to see you. Would he be? He'd go, Oh, hey, Ryan. <laughs> he started streaming, too. Oh, it's Ryan again. He's been streaming Dark Souls. Has he? just he? beat Dark Souls 3 on his stream. Did he? He's good, yeah. He's uh, He's been streaming. So you got two streamers in your house now. Yeah. Might be a third one soon. Maybe about to be a you. third one. Yeah, I might have to start streaming soon. Streaming and creaming. That's what I call my streams. So streaming and creaming volume 66. What's up? It's Christian. Hey, guys. He just discovered that that voice is him. And he <laughs> really? was like, he was like, wait, you motherfucker, that's me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, dude. And he's like, what? And I was like, you knew this. He's like, no, I didn't. Fuck you. Yeah. What the F? Hey, Ryan, well, uh, I say we get going because I uh, forgot to bring a, a bucket and a mop for that wet ass pussy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>